gonna I'm gonna be working with um, a teardrop a pine teardrop I got this one from Sims I love it because it's got different variations in here like you see this is just your normal pine but then it's got this pine it's got that pine usually when I do a wreath like this or a swag I always end up adding extra in it but I think between my sign and the embellishments and the ribbon it didn't really need extra put in it okay so I already fluffed it up some hey girl great job on that wreath I loved it all right now this is one of my newest signs okay and I could not decide I did it two ways again and I think I'm gonna release both ways because whichever one you go with there's different ribbon that would match it okay so this is the one we're going to be working with tonight angel crossing now in my area thank you Esther hi Ramona welcome in my area everybody up here decorates primitive and country so I'm going to be doing a little more of primitive and country um, because I think I'll have a better chance of selling more locally and then this is the other way so you had this way and this way now with this one I added some green in it so I can add some green in the ribbon this one is basically just browns tans and burgundy okay so some people I think would prefer this because they can decorate all year round with this now if we wanted to take this into Christmas we've got the berries hey Sue we've got the berries and um, the stars and the green in there okay and then I had a request for an autism sign so this is the one we came up with today thank you Will and this is also coming out in license plate and a vertical sign vertical like the size of this one okay thank you all right now I went ahead and made some balls <laughs> Willie look <laughs> all I did was decoupage took the Mod Podge and used um, fabrics that would coordinate with the sign and then I now have in my shop tinsel ties <gasps> store Etsy store I'm not allowed to say shop um, we have this um, like a tan beige color which is neutral so this will go with just about anything and then I have some white it's either gonna come like this or like this okay so they are in my Etsy store got it right so I've added this in there I've added a ton of new ribbon in there I've added some new signs um, you really need to check it out plus I have four or five bargain bins in there now in each bargain bin when I sell something I add something else in there these are actually signs that I had bought in the past and used it on a wreath and so there's a lot of great deals in there so you might want to check out that okay <laughs> all right so what I've decided is I'm gonna put this sign like and I, I purposely did it vertical because I wanted to put it in here okay so that's gonna go in there and when I was watching Lori last night she had something similar to this and I didn't know I could use this so this I got at um, Joann's it's in like the oh paper section you know where they have all the scrapbooking all right there are actually two little um, jobbers on here that can put a bigger hole these are a lot sturdier than the um, bead punches that we all use 
okay? She actually had a real industrial one that she got from Amazon, and I thought, you know, I'm going to try this one and see if it works on metal, because it's called We Are Memory Keepers, um, but it's pretty heavy duty, and it punched a really nice hole in here, and then I have... I have some of the tinsel tie in the green so I'm going to use some of that to tie it down and that way it'll kind of disappear in the um, pine here but this hole now should be big enough so I don't have to sit here and punch like look at that I don't have to punch like three little holes in each corner okay so I'm going to start out by putting this where I want it because everything else is going to get worked around it. Now what I'm going to do, because we've got some, like I said, some extra different um, pieces of green in here, I'm going to actually push them down to the side so they're like sticking out around it so you can still visually see it. Like I said, I usually add to my end, but with this one, I'm not going to because of the fact that um, my embellishments are going to take up. And look at that. That just like totally disappears in there. So you don't even know that it's in there. Woohoo! Don't forget to check out my Etsy, my Etsy. And if you haven't joined um, my YouTube channel, please do so. Were any of you able to watch um, Willie? She went on at six. In her videos, you can watch the replay. She took a pine wreath and added some boxwood garland to it. Oh my gosh so simple so cute like everything she does okay so see that's going to sit right in the middle and i'm going to work around it now when making these balls i use the smooth styrofoam because it's easier to adhere the fabric it it, it grabs better so i'm just going to place these around and see where i want them but I'm trying to go more country and primitive in my designs. Let's just scrap fabric. And what I did was I just snipped the end and then just ripped it. And then it creates this frayed edge. And it just, I think, went well. I think I'm going to put this one like right here and then put the other one down here. Hi, Vicki. Yeah, you want to watch it because she did an awesome job. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't need that big of a stem on it. I just stuck a hole in the bottom. And with my tinsel ties, man, they grab. As soon as they hit that hot glue, they grab really good. And I don't know if um, some of you aren't on Lori's. Page, but last night in her craft um, creation, she used tinsel ties. I was so excited. I'm like, yes. I'm going to go way down the bottom with this one. Let's see how that greenery, that green tinsel tie just like gets lost in the pine. So you don't even see it. Now. All right, so that's what we've got so far, okay? Three balls and my new angel crossing sign, which also comes in this color. You're gonna be seeing a lot more primitive in my um, collections. All right, now what I have here, and this is another thing that's well known in our area, these are called pit berries. And they come in different colors. And a lot of people in our area use these to decorate. They come in like, um, I'll show you. They come in like long swags, long garland like this. 
okay and people use it to decorate their home with so i've actually took this one apart i like that this was like a mustard yellow and i'm actually going to put this throughout and i also have some little red berries that i'm attaching with the pip berries okay and then i have a couple of stars because in this they've got um, like the reddish burgundy stars in the sign so I kind of want to incorporate these because again that's another country look with the stars just trying to figure out how I'm gonna and I thought it'd be kind of neat to just let the white one dangle down below the burgundy one let me see here all right I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich some of this in there hey Sue wow Vicki that's awesome Vicki bought um where is that the Blackberry well this was Vicki's inspiration these signs she bought the blackberry pie sign and then she said she made a wreath and just sold it for 90. awesome so we've got the the three pie signs too all right let's see if we can get some hot glue in here and then see if we can hot glue this tinsel tie i like working with tinsel ties you all know that because these little fuzzy things really grab to hot glue and hold fast I'm trying to do it without burning my finger <laughs> wasn't it Ramona that that was really a neat idea and Willie will tell you if it's her idea or somebody else's She's honest. So see, we've got some of this scattered in here. I think I'm just going to put that right in here. And you know, it's this is the way I decorate my home too in primitive country. So I need to get back to what what most people in our area are looking for and like I said I've got a bunch more signs planned like this angel sign just trying to attach the little little white are. I think the berries are going to pop and the pip berries will give it a little contrast in color. All right, let's see. I even have, if I need it, I even have pieces of the fabric shredded here because I thought I may just tie some of this in here with some of this. Or here we're going to use the green. Again, we're just making it country looking. You should have seen my fingers, boy, making those balls. I, <laughs> I had Mod Podge everywhere on my hand. I'm just gonna, I may not like this. I'm gonna try it and see how, how it looks. See if I wanna leave it or if it looks kinda cheapy. But that's the whole idea behind this is to make it look raggy. Yeah, that kind of looks good behind.
find it. Now down here I'm going to use this one. Y'all have a good day. I don't know if anyone's on here from uh, Lori's YouTube group, but she won't be having class tonight. scatter these throughout. Just making sure I'm not missing anybody's questions. If I do, I will go back. This is Marty's kind of decorating, too. She's country girl, too. We're working with my new sign, Marty, and we're going primitive here. Great job with the garden. Hey, welcome back. And look at that. My cousin's on. Hey, Betty. Thanks for joining. Okay, so that's the bottom half already. We're just adding pit berries and berries and stars. And the stars will complement the stars on the sign. some of these scatter these in between because again I'm I'm trying to make it look country I have raffia and I thought about it and I actually tried it in there and I wasn't liking it too much so I have this that I'm going to be adding to the bow so it kind of kind of didn't look right but I, I hear you I tried it Dawn <laughs> Dawn ordered a beautiful sign I can't wait to see pictures of the wreath I just needed another visual here on this. Sorry if I had to turn it around. Let me go some over here. Yeah. I think we need one over here too. Oh, I love swags. It actually is called a teardrop. If that's what you meant. Alright. Now, I have these triple stars here. And what I did was I actually took them apart and took the blue star off. And then reattach the white star. I could go back and paint this star green and then add that too. But for now, I'm just going to use the white ones. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh. Yes, I usually do make others, um, but tonight, because of the sign, I decided to go country. I made, you can actually go back through my, um, my, you can actually go back through my videos. We did, um, we did the lighthouse, the Cape Hatteras lighthouse. I have that in a sign. Um, I don't do all beach, but I do some. Hey, Levon. Welcome back, girlfriend, from your staycation. I'm using pit berries. <laughs> Levon likes pit berries. She just never remembers the name of them. Okay, we need some tinsel tie, which is in my Etsy store. I'm not allowed to say S H O P. Why? Wish I knew. Thank you. We've gone primitive. We're doing country tonight. I think we'll put this one over here. And boy, it's really nice because this this tinsel tie is the color of the pine wreath, so it just blends right in, which is great. And we're gonna put a little berries in that. got to watch too when you're using berries in your wreath and you got to make sure they're not the styrofoam kind because the styrofoam as soon as that hits the weather outside it just pops like popcorn and it looks awful when it pops so just a FYI Arla, hi, how are you? My day's going good. And you? We're using my newest sign, which is an angel. It says angel crossing. So we've gone a little bit country tonight. See some new faces joining me tonight. Thank you. I'm still working with this. I gotta go back and look at some of Sue's raggy bows. She makes some awesome rag bows. Hi, Nanny Dot. Welcome. I got babies leaving this weekend. not ready for it <laughs> seems like they just got here <laughs> hi joy how are you I think I'm going to do, let's see, put this right in here, and then I'll do a star cluster over here. And you guys were awesome, you gals. What an 
I was blown away at the sales this weekend. Wow. Thank you so much. And all the ideas that you guys are sharing with me that you're looking for. My creativity was blown out of the water this weekend. I had so many ideas roll around my head. Crazy. So, yeah. It was appreciated. It's hard for me to do it upside down, so I'll let you peek why I'm fixing this. Just making my own little embellishments. Oh. I didn't want to do all of them off camera because I thought you'd want to see. All right. So we need some more pit berries. in here. Betty, how's Bill doing? I've been thinking about you guys. Hope everything's good. Hope he's home, resting comfortably, taking it easy. Since time, the sign says Angel Crossing, and it is available with the green and black, or just the browns and beige and burgundy. So you have two choices. Cause I I can't decide which one I like better. Hey Tina, welcome. How you doing, girl? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're staying safe. My shop is open. If you ever want to stop down again, check out my new signs. Now, that's over there, so I think... This is going to go more to that way, and this will go more here. Yeah, I like that. I know, right? Well, I think it all depends on ribbon choices, because with this one, you're more or less burgundy, browns, tans, beige. This one... When I did this one after that one, I added the green because I wanted another ribbon color choice. That's what's so cool about making your own signs. You can make them to match what you're working on, right? All right. Need to add some berries up this end. And then we're going to add some more 
pit berries, scatter them, and we'll do our sign. I mean, our ribbon, our bow. Steve, I'm doing a bow. <laughs> What's he got against bows? Holy cow. I was razzing him. <laughs> Hi, Denise, how are you? I still haven't forgot about your Christmas um, lighthouse. Girl, I have been swamped with orders and grandsons and I feel I don't know which end is up. It's crazy. I just want to add a little bit of this in here in and around. And then we'll add a little more of the tied bows. <laughs> I told him a couple of times. <laughs> I was razzing him during your live, Willie. Especially when you decided to do the bow. I'm like, na 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 na. <laughs> Hey, it's the only time I get to pick on them. All right, I think I'm going to glue that so it stays put. We have a local um, Facebook page by local and support local businesses. So every time I make a wreath, I stick it on there. Okay, I got to step back a minute. All right, so we need some of these. Oh, you lucky. job. I bet she's going to be beautiful. I so want to go to the beach. You have no idea. I miss it. We got to go last year for a little while to visit my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law and I didn't want to leave. In fact, that was the last time I saw my mother-in-law because she passed away from COVID. So, it was bittersweet. All right. Now, I think we need a little more berries. I did post a link to my Etsy shop. I haven't posted the angel signs. They will get posted tomorrow. I did get a autism sign that was posted. I like that there. Need a little glue. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. It was pretty hot. She had been in a nursing home and nobody was allowed to visit her for a while and had to, she passed in the ambulance. It's just sad. I, my heart just breaks to anyone losing family this time because you can't really grieve the normal way with a funeral and all. And that's the hard part. I think we need some like right in here. Do you all talk to yourself when you're wreathing? <laughs> I do sometimes. I 
I know it's everybody's right to wear a mask or not wear a mask, but I'll tell you what, if it protects just one person and keeps them from dealing with the loss of a loved one, I think it's important. But that's just my take. I need something here. Okay, I think we found it. Yeah. I love glue into pine wreaths because it sets up so well. that down. There we go. All right, there's what we've got. Wait a minute. I think I need some right there. <laughs> All pieces of the ragged bow are sticking in here. That's what we've got so far. What do you think? My homemade balls. All right, let's try this and see if this looks good with this now or not. I wasn't sure if it was going to look good or not. So let's just see. Ew. No. Now it doesn't look good with it. Alright. So. Let's see. I'm still loving this ribbon. That I used the other night. Or last week on the apple blossom sign. This has... Some greens in it. I think we're going to start with that. Thank you, Will. This is actually a teardrop. All right, I think I'm going to start with the burgundy and put that in the back. could even use this if I wanted. Check this out. This is one that I'm going to be making a border to coordinate with it. Don't you love that ribbon? All right. Yep. We're going to do this. I'm going to leave like a go with 11 inch tail. I know, I love working with teardrops. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm using my my um, bow Debra that Willie and Steve sent me. They're so sweet. Cute, Vicky. I had a lot of orders go out Saturday and today. We 
try and get it out as soon as it comes in. Yes, you do. Um, because my male lady, she gets here anywhere between nine and ten. So, if I don't have any more orders as of that time, then we send it with her. So, oh my gosh, look at this color. I love this color. I had a whole cart full of ribbon today and I was having trouble placing the order and I contacted my sales rep and she's like okay go ahead and place it now it should work I went in and my whole cart still nothing joy oh boy I will hun I'm sorry I, I really encourage everyone to ship um, priority because first class does not, um, they don't scan first class, but I've been selling, I mean, I when I do my orders, is this the one I want? When I do my orders, I make sure that I have a scan sheet and the postal workers have to scan that. So I know yours was scanned that way. So if they didn't scan it individually, they scanned, scanned it as a whole. But I will check on it for you. I am so sorry. Because it went out that day. I'm trying to incorporate some black in here. Now I've totally wiped out your comments. <laughs> hey Peggy, welcome. Welcome back. Did you all see Wilhelmina's cool pine wreath with the boxwood? That was awesome. So I'm doing basically four, two, four. I'm trying to make sure all my ribbon is the same length here. There we go. I've been making beds all day. I've got three puppies leaving this weekend for their forever homes. And you'd think, Joy, with you being right in Ohio, I'm only in Pennsylvania, my gosh. It's not like I'm shipping across the United States. That happened before when I shipped something to Susan. Everybody else got theirs, and hers took forever to get there. I don't know what it is about Ohio. Is your mail service always like that? Now, I think I will go. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll only do one of these. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that goes with it? Now that I get it there, I don't think so. Let me search. I actually got this one. Since we already have a check in there, let's do this. We 
it is a big deal. You order something, you want it in a timely manner because you want it to uh, get your coffee bar set up. I was looking to see if I, here, you want me to just send them right through the computer? <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome if you could just like insert them and they just shoot out the other end? Jeez. That would be, that would be great. Wouldn't it? Maybe that'll happen someday, like the chute at the bank. You know, you'll just put it in a chute and it'll just like shoot off to you. I think I'm only gonna put like one loop of this color. These are definitely country colors, for sure. And it's good stiff ribbon. I've been real happy with what my supplier's been sending to me. Oh, did you see this? I have this now to go with the bear sign. It's got the fuzzies on the edges. Oh, good. Well, hopefully it'll be there. Because this just stinks. Okay, I'm going to need some of this. My tinsel ties. That now, I've got Lori using. And I now have it in my Etsy store. We have tinsel ties now. Right? I thought the same thing, Vicki. I know. That is awesome ribbon. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> Zip tie. <laughs> oh. So I've got all my colors that I got in there. So we're going to stick this in between here. I showed you my trick last week of disguising the zip tie. And I actually saw someone using it the other day to do the same thing. I'm just checking to see if this would look good in there. I could use this too. Usually what I do is I take the ribbon, I pull out the wire, I fold it in threes and then tie it around. But I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of this scrapped fabric. Yeah, see, tonight's didn't take very long. There we go. Alright, let's get this on there. Oops. I even got brown cow ribbon in. I love brown cow ribbon. So, you guys, don't forget to check it out. I put a link in the comments. I loved watching the Jetsons. Oh, this is... Steve, this bow is going to make this swag. <laughs> Poor Steve. We torment them. We make fun of them. But he knows we love them. And see, I can even take this, because I made the tinsel tie so long, I can even make this the um, top to hold the wreath. Or maybe not. I think I went down too far with it. <laughs> Let me see. Yep, too far. Got to bring it back up some. Got a little heavy-handed there. Let's bring it up some. A little too tight. 
Come on, come back up there. There we go. Sorry. I know I want to show it to you, but I got to turn it around, see what I'm doing. to move this ball down some because this bow is going to bury it. Let's move that down first. Too high up. It's getting covered. I so appreciate all of you joining me. It means a lot. Thank you. And for joining Lily and I on Tag Team Tuesday. There. All right. I also posted in my, um, on my Facebook page, Missy got the... Um, da, 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 da. she got the snowman signs and I posted yep I got the right ones I posted in my um, on my Facebook page she made a wreath with these Just she got them in the mail that day and she went and made her sign that day too her wreath using those two signs Plus the snowman ribbon. So if you didn't see it, you should check it out. They turned out gorgeous. Now, if I wanted to, I could take One. I'm just trying something. Bear with me just a minute here. If I wanted to, I could even run that down the side, but no, it's going to take away from. All right, we're going to leave it just like it is. Except this has to be moved down into here. Actually. I think over here is better. Yeah. And I can move that down the middle like that. Y'all agree? <laughs> oh, thank you. It's gonna... All right. Whoop. Let's get it off everything. I'm going to go back over it because I think there's still some spots. Aw, thanks, Joy. Simple, simple. And these are the smooth styrofoam balls that I just took Mod Podge and added fabric to them. I think this needs to go up just a little bit. That's what's throwing me off. And see with these very sturdy tinsel ties, it's easy to move out and reposition it because it's not like the pipe cleaners where they will fall apart. And the tinsel tie blends right in with the, um, the wreath base. So, need something right here. 
think we're going to add some more of this. See? Everything gets lost on my table. Yeah. Except not that much. Spin it out a little. It's got wire in it, so it's really easy to attach. Like you can just twist it right around the edge of the branches. we go. My version of primitive country. Thank you, Esther. And the sign is available in two different patterns. And this could even take you into um, Valentine's Day, too. Yes, right? This is the way we decorate here. I think I need just a little piece of this, though. Oh, that went there. It came out. I gotta fix it. This is the way we decorate here. So, I'm hoping it sells rather quickly. I know we had this talk before, but I never post any of my um, wreaths on Etsy because I just don't think people are going to pay the shipping. And last year I had my aunt, she sold a bunch of my wreaths at the, um, it's, not a, it's not a nursing home, it's like an assisted living type thing. Um, and she sold a ton of my wreaths for me. And now, with the way things are, I can't even go visit her. So. No, we need some right here. That's where it was missing. Yeah, this is the way we decorate. There. That's what it needed. Let's glue that up in there. I, I don't know. I said last week I was going to post one, and I didn't. <laughs> I even contacted a local, um, a young man just opened up a, an ice cream stand up the road, and I contacted him about my ice cream one, because I I said, oh my gosh, it would look so cute outside in between your two serving windows, but I haven't heard back from him. He's, he's a young guy. I mean, probably thinks, you know, look, I just got started. And then I actually thought, well, maybe I should just contact him and say, hey, why don't, why don't you let me just bring it up and just put it up and leave my business card with it. So, who knows? I just saw an empty spot where I wanted to put this. There we go. 
right there. Yeah, I thought about that too. And I kind of tested one to see how much it was going to cost. And I thought, oh. adding that to the price, that kind of gave me sticker shock too. So I don't know. We live on a main road and I actually thought about just sitting out by the road under a tent. But then I think everybody's going to expect garage sale prices and that, you know, that's not what it's about. So I don't know. I'm nervous about it. Yeah, I think we're good. And you all saw my trick, didn't you? Whenever you have a sign that you feel is just too far down in, you can always put one of those little balls, um, those wrap balls from the um, Dollar Tree. But there we go. So again, you get either this one or this one. There we go. Yep, <laughs> especially around here. That's the way they roll. I love the ribbon though. Oh my gosh, that is so country. And I talked to my supplier. I hope we can find where my shopping cart went. They're actually coming out with seven eight inch, seven eighth inch um, ribbon, wired ribbon. Wouldn't that look awesome to put like a smaller ribbon and just like twirl it down? That's what I think was holding up my uh, my cart. It wouldn't let me order it, but yet they it kept saying it was in stock. So I don't know. But this is the way we decorate around here. So I'm going to try this online and see see how it does locally first thank you you did an awesome job too willie willie likes my balls <laughs> we tease each other she makes the cutest fuzzy balls and i thought i i didn't want to i wanted to do country and i thought i'm going to make balls and i did it All right, let's see. And then my autism sign. Um, Y'all yeah, saw my snowball sign. I love that. And I've got the coolest ribbon on there now in my Etsy store. And I'm, I'm still looking for ribbon to, to match this. So, oh, and this. This ribbon goes so cute with this. The snowflakes. I know I have more. I didn't bring it all down. And then I'll come up with something for tomorrow. I'm on again tomorrow at 2. Okay. Any questions? go back and look through the comments at the end to see if I missed anybody I did get this ribbon in in the um, one and a half inch so I have that now all right well I guess I will see you all tomorrow at two and thanks for joining Willie and I tonight on Tag Team Tuesday. We love it when you stop by. We have a great time and we hope you do too. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Joy.